Well, there's Ida May. All right, guys. Hey, you guys, I'm going to show you all a little video right here. This is a 48-foot reefer reefer trailer. has the big uh, refrigerator units. Normally, they put on the top, and I'll show you. The uh, reefer unit is removed. Now, this trailer here is a 2007 Great Dane. Okay? 2007 Great Dane. And it is nice and straight just like this one and it belonged to alpine shipping now one of the smart things that you can do let's get back here you see these people all day long buying these goofy and i hate putting it that way because a lot of people got good intention <clears throat> but they're buying these goofy cargo containers and uh you know the chinese cargo containers now, the one thing i can tell you about the chinese cargo containers is they are what we call rust a minute rusto rusto trailers now this is our second load in this trailer second load of stuff now look at what i did here to haul down lumber different materials here paneling and then stacked it all up heavyweight stuff down my big rolling table flipped upside down my big toolboxes and this trailer has just got uh we just got this much clear to get into it now up in here we're going to be putting an air conditioner so you're looking at 24 inch spacing metal or steel uh, aluminum sorry aluminum i-beam framing i'll show you the outside there's all the e-track that comes with these things which is excellent for building shelving units on. What we're going to do is we're going to be putting an air conditioner unit in here. A small air conditioner in Texas. The walls, these walls are almost three inches thick. Now, this is a, a 104 trailer, so it's 104 inches wide. That means it's eight inches wider than the typical cargo container that you'd get. Now, the reason for that is because pallets are four foot and they have to have make sure they have room. If they couldn't just make this eight feet wide, it has to be wider. So we're eight foot one and a half internally going across right here. We're fully insulated. And if you look down the length of it there, fully built and riveted, solid, waterproof. Now, Work what we're going to be doing here is mounting a little 8,000, and that's it. This is 48 feet by a little over 8 feet wide and 9 feet tall inside. So let's go over here in the shop. I'm going to show you this air conditioning unit. All right, back over here in the shop. What we have here is we have an 8,000 BTU AC unit that I have prepped for install. Now, a lot of people don't understand. You can use a lot of these little window units. This is a standard window. See, it's a little curtain kit. This is a standard window unit model. You can use these four through the wall. Now, this one here is almost five inches right there between the closest intake grills on the side. Now, you can omit about a half an inch of this if you need to, but just be sure you plate it, okay, with a strip of metal and seal it. But and it's not going to hurt it. But this one here is already starting out with better than five inches, okay? This one here is an Arctic King. I'll put a link down below where these come from because this model is like an exclusive model. There's the Mydea model or something like that. I'll check my pronunciation. But there's that model, and it's different. It has the vents coming in further on both sides, and it's the one like you get at uh, some other retailers or stores. This one is straight up Walmart. It is kind of like the Walmart house brand, the... The, uh, they sell them everywhere, but it's kind of because of Walmart, for some reason, they make them look a little different. But it's really to your benefit. So I'll put the link below the video. Look down there where the upload info crap is at. So Now, what I've got on here is I've got nothing more than just standard drip edge. And you're looking at that and you're going like, how in the hell did he put that on there? Well, it, it's, it's not that complicated. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take all your screws out. And you're going to look at any obstacles, such as your coils and other things down inside your uh, cooling unit to make sure that you're not 
get this filter out, that you're not going to strike anything in here. And then while you have this off, you'll take this and put it over a board or something and ping them flat. You see that? Those are your little, your little slip sleeves there for this thing to go down into. And this is just a leaking little bad example. Don't, I don't recommend you use that. So you take this kind of metal and you'll install it with this cover completely removed, sitting out on the table. You'll find where screws can go and you'll put them in there and mount this. Now, in my case, because I want this to slightly tilt back, I want this air conditioner to drop just a little, and that's what these are designed for. You'll notice the, the difference in thickness, see? They're made to do that. This is a quarter to a half inch, I think a three eighths inch thicker than down there to make it lean a little bit. You've seen that in your window. And the reason is, is for your condensate reservoir down here to make sure the moisture gets to it so that the fan can utilize it. Now, if you're wondering why a lot of these air conditioners have that, I'm gonna real quick, real quick. Um, they utilize the moisture in here, and now they have the, the uh, tin coated, see it? The tinned, so it has a, a lot longer lifespan. But they do that to actually force some of the moisture, the fan, you'll hear it like clicking in it, picking up the moisture, the water, to pick some of it up. Anything that gets excess, you see right there inside, gets to that point will drain out, okay? But it allows a little reservoir for moisture to help cause your heat dissipation and increase of it, okay? Vaporizing the heat out that way. So don't, don't freak out if you see that in one of them. The modern ones are all like that. They are a little more efficient that way. This one is a Bluetooth, I think it's like a $220 air conditioner, 8,000 BTU, but it's Bluetooth, my phone, this thing, that's a phone, um, it communicates with these. Kind of cool, and each one has their own code, so you can have like five of these in the house, sit in your living room and change them around. They're kind of cool. Um, now, right now, sitting on that Bluetooth cycle, it's at one watt. That's it, you see that meter there, one watt. And we're gonna turn it on, and I wanna show you here what it does. Power on, and I've got it preset at 67 degrees because it's a little cool in the shop. And I'll turn the energy saver off so the compressor cycles fully, and you'll see the wattage. So right now, the compressor's coming on pretty instant because I turned that energy saver off. And it will run at about, and it's, you see how it's building up slowly? Soft start technology. Pretty cool, huh? So with the compressor running, and it on medium high, right there. We'll go ahead and run up to high. It's gonna run at about 600 watts. Should level out about 550. So you see, that's pretty good right there, 533. This has been, let me turn it back off. The compressor is on, I don't know if you can hear it. You don't hear that buzz in there. Um, this thing here has been amazing on an inverter. There's a third one I've got, and I've done this with all of them, built them into trailers, okay? This one is the only one I've been able to find that has gives you plenty of space no obstacles behind here. You've got a full like five eighths to an inch of space in most all of this. Over here, you're not gonna be in the coils because they're right here. Now, if you're going to mount this through a house wall, then you'll put rivets through your metal. See, those are screws right there, okay? You'll put rivets. Now, you're, you're thinking, I'm sure you're thinking, man, this little old flimsy 26 gauge garbage here is not gonna hold that air conditioner. Man, I mounted a 16,000 BTU Frederick doing this. It's still in the wall today. It's not gone anywhere. And the reason is, is because your contact point is so close. You see, screws in the wall, screws in this. It's so close, and, and then it's squared. That metal holds it just fine. Now, we're gonna be taking this air conditioner and as you see how I've done this, make sure you keep your screws separated because that's more of a machine style screws up here. Up here in the front, they might be just a little bit shorter. The screws that go here, there's one here, one up here, and one over here. And then you have two screws on your control board here and it'll just thread back through there and your Bluetooth just, that's your Bluetooth right there. It just snaps out. Now, if you don't like the fact that somebody could maybe, maybe get in here and smartphone, smart, control your air conditioner, just unplug it. I've got one that's unplugged because I kind of don't like that idea either. All right, 
So this air conditioner here, as it sits, has full three cores. I don't know if you can see them up in there. See them up in there? Three core, like a three core radiator in a truck, and four, that is four, one quarter larger than this one. So you're talking some really big 16 SER, okay, energy efficiency ratio. You're talking huge. And that's just in this little one here. Now, yes, this is made by Daewoo. So is my Diaz and all that. They're basically all the same parts with Mitsubishi compressors and stuff like that. For the money, I can't find a better air conditioner. And this thing blows like hell. It, it's, it, blow, it out blows my 16,000 BTU as far as distance away from the unit. So I do like this. We're going to be taking this one and we're going to be going in there and doing that. Now, you have these little feet down here at the bottom. I want you to show you what I did. Those feet right there, let me back up there. They normally turn this way and go like that so they sit in that window mount. You don't want to keep it from sliding out. You'll just take 10 snips and cut the excess off and fold them back. And you can see the height here equals the height there, this, these two points. So it's recessed a little there. And this is just a catch for the wall. And you can see right there, that'll give me the chance to put the screws right there and right there on the bottom. Now, if you're wondering, why don't I have that strip on the bottom? Well, you don't want to drill up. Don't drill into your bottom of your pan. Don't puncture it. That, those are even spot welded on. Don't puncture your bottom of your pan. You'll just put a trim piece against the outside up against it, two screws, and just a bead of silicone across it. That's it. Now, you can see here I use the drip. This is drip edge. I use it like this. And the reason I did is because I'll actually be able to take on the finished wall here and get some up here for you. On the finished wall, you see the little gap? I'll be able to put some nice, nice silicone or Flex 230 or something in there and make that perfectly sealed. When this goes in with four screws here and three on each side, you ain't going to be able to pull this out. It also, um, it also doesn't stick out. It'd be right here, right about there, this much space, sorry, that much, through the wall. That's how thick the wall is. It'll be about five-eighths of an inch to three-quarters of an inch space to here and um, an inch and a half to here, so it'll be fine using this on the outside wall as a run, and you'll see that in the completed. Um, all of these screws, be sure you put it back to where every one of them are just good and tight. Don't run these in with an impact. They, they will strip out. All of them nowadays will. So there you go. There's your big AC air, Arctic King. Uh, Walmart is where I get them at. I wish I could get these somewhere else because they don't always have them at Walmart. But check the link below and you can hopefully get one. Now, we're going to put this all back together here. And I'm going to take this air conditioner over. Um, once again, careful disassembling. Careful. The top will come off. You'll just kind of pry a little bit on both sides of this upper case. Those two screws up there come out. They're part of the fan shroud hold. But they'll come out and you just slip it off. It'll just come off. It's just a big piece of sheet metal. When you take it off, after you've made your measurements, do your measurements before you remove this. You'll see my... Pen, my pen marks everywhere. See? Once you make your measurements of where in your wall you can put it, you're good. Stay a good eighth of an inch back. If you're like putting this through a house, this will fit through the average house wall. Just barely. But it will fit. So make your marks. Uh, generally like a travel trailer, two and five eighths inches, you're fine. It's only, it's less than this thing is going to be. Um, the one I'm doing now is I think uh, just under three inches. For the total thickness and you'll see that but the cool thing is this when it's in the wall it's not going to stick out further than the mirrors on the truck which are the uh the 115 legal limit let's get over there and get this put in and i'll show you the end result and how simple and believe it or not 8000 btu it'll cool a reefer trailer a freezer freezer reefer trailer not a 53 foot refrigerated trailer it will never, you could put seven of those in one of those cargo, you know, containers, 40-footers, and it ain't going to help you. Not unless you put five feet of that stuff in them. They just, they're not built for it. All right, so let's go over there. $4,500 for one of those trailers delivered versus $6,000 for a freaking metal hot box. That's a hell of a better deal. Plus, it's eight foot longer. So let's get over there.
All right, guys, as you can see up there where Dominic's at, the hole is cut, and it's some really thick stuff, just under three inches, two and seven eighths. So we're gonna get that air conditioner in. It is sitting out here right now, and we're about to go pop that baby in. All right, guys, there you see it mounted through the body of a semi-trailer, and you can see up there where there's plenty left over. So this would fit in a probably a five inch thick wall easily. Look for that model of this one down below the video. I'll put you that. It's kind of hard to find them where they have the right gaps without taking them apart. All right, opening the door. And it is dramatically cooler in here. So there you see the mount. Air conditioner through the wall. And you can see it still has plenty of room left over plenty and this thing is really going good now i just got a 50 foot of 14 gauge hook to it that's enough it only pulls 550 max watts but everything you see in the last 35 feet inside here is food now you'll know why this thing has to be in here plus when i turn it into my workshop you'll see a lot of videos on it it would be good to have. We're going to be putting a full standard roof on this. Another two and a half inches of foam on the ceiling. And enclosing this with regular metal also. With an additional half inch of the uh, um, ISO foam on it. It currently has an R factor of 15.9. Basically an R16. But we're going to bring it up to about an R20 by the time we're done. And the ceiling is already an R22. And we're going to bring that up to about an R26. 28 something like that floor is an r30 so typical of these things but you guys can do that a lot of junk in there huh <laughs>